Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Ghadaybiya Palace. The cabinet congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Bahraini people on the occasion of the upcoming National Day. The Prime Minister noted that uh, this national occasion marks the beginning of the Kingdom's Development March, which has placed Bahrain among the most advanced countries politically, economically and socially. He highlighted the Kingdom's uh, democratic achievements and its legislative, executive and uh, judiciary bodies, which have guaranteed the political and civil rights of the people under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. He said that Bahrain's development stems from its people, which requires them to adhere to the values of cohesion and solidarity in order to maintain the national gains. His Royal Highness added that the day of His Majesty's accession to the throne was a turning point in the history of the Bahraini National March. He hailed the positive economic, security and military outcomes of the GCC summit, which was recently held in Bahrain, praising the chairmanship of His Majesty the King, which has contributed to the success of the summit. His Royal Highness said that the results of the summit will reinforce the cooperation march between the GCC states. The cabinet then reviewed the reports of uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, on the summit. It affirmed uh, that the summit's call to fight terrorism and external interference, as well as the reinforced joint uh, Gulf action, contribute to maintaining the region's security and stability. The cabinet then uh, commended the outcomes of the discussions between His Majesty the King and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, during his recent visit to the kingdom. On this occasion, His Royal Highness said uh, the Premier affirmed uh, that the Saudi monarch's visit to Bahrain reflects the deep rooted historic relations between the two countries. The cabinet also praised uh, the positive outcomes of the GCC UK summit, in which the latest regional and international developments were discussed between the leaders of the Gulf countries and the British. Prime Minister Theresa May. It lauded the positive cooperation between the UK and the GCC states. The cabinet noted the importance of the topics discussed in the 12th session of the Manama Dialogue. It added that it will help develop a common understanding of the issues concerning the region's security and stability. The cabinet uh, praised the role of the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the ministry's affiliates in organizing and preparing this international event. On the occasion of the Martyrs' Day, the Cabinet expressed pride in the martyrs who have given their lives defending the country. It then commended the role of the police in maintaining security and stability and the role of the Minister of Interior and the Ministry's affiliates in protecting the Kingdom and preserving its gains. The Cabinet uh, highlighted uh, the importance of the Islamic banking sector and urged uh, the facil to facilitate means of developing it in the Kingdom. It noted the World Islamic Bank uh, Conference, which was patronized by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, who deputized his advisor, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, to attend the conference. His Royal Highness the Premier then directed the uh, completion of the infrastructure, housing and utilities of Samahij and Eldir projects, as well as the completion of the development of the roads that connect these areas. The cabinet strongly condemned the terrorist bombings of Egypt, which targeted a, a Coptic church in Cairo, as well as the terrorist incident that targeted a security point in the Giza governorate. The cabinet described such attacks as a heinous acts that are rejected by Islamic teachings and all other religions, as well as human values. It also affirms its stance with Egypt and asserted Bahrain's support of all measures to be taken to preserve the security and stability of the Egyptian nation. It also added that the Egyptian people would resist such desperate attempts to undermine the national unity. The cabinet also condemned the terrorist bombings that took place in the Turkish city of Istanbul, stressing the solidarity of the kingdom with Turkey, its government and its people. It affirmed Bahrain's rejection of terrorism in all its forms. Cabinet, the Cabinet directed all ministries and government bodies to inform and wait for the approval of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs before adopting conventions, treaties and memorandums of understanding. They also directed the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to submit periodic reports on the approved treaties and MOUs to the Cabinet. The Cabinet also directed the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to use an electronic system that links the Ministry with all government bodies and to keep the system up to date with the approved treaties and MOUs.
The cabinet approved three draft laws, including a draft law in Bahrain joining the Convention for the Suppression of Unlawful Seizure of Aircraft, another draft law on approving a convention on compensation for damage caused by unlawful interference of foreign aircrafts to third parties, and the third one on approving a convention on compensation for damage caused to aircrafts to third parties. The meeting also approved a MOU between the New Zealand Qualifications Authority and the National Authority for Qualifications and Quality Assurance of Education and Training. It also approved a proposal on allocating space in Hamadtown to establish a hall for occasions. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghadaybiya Palace the Speaker of the Shura Council Ali Al Saleh. First Deputy Speaker of the Shura Council Ali Al Aradi, members of the Representatives and Shura Councils in the presence of a former Representative Speaker Khalifa Al Dhahrani. His Royal Highness affirmed the Kingdom's aspirations to achieve further progress and prosperity, especially that the country is enjoying the occasion of the National Day. He also affirmed Bahrain's keenness to continue the political, social, and economic march under the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness also highlighted the march of the government parliamentary cooperation and ways to support and develop it. He praised the achievements of the executive and legislative authorities in this field and their keenness to achieve the best interest for the country. He also affirmed the government's keenness to enhance its cooperation with the legislative authority in order to benefit both the country and its people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister discussed with the audience recent regional and international developments and stress the need to face and combat terrorism to stop the wars, conflicts and displacements. He added that there are still many attempts targeting the security and stability of the region, but affirmed that these threats and challenges won't deviate the government from serving its people. He called for stronger cooperation and cohesion to overcome all challenges facing the region and to, ma and, and, uh, to maintain its gains, security and stability.
Her Royal Highness wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received today at the Council's headquarters a delegation from the Egyptian National Council for Women, led by Council Speaker Dr. Maya Mursi. Her Royal Highness expressed her deepest condolences and sincere sympathies to the Egyptian people and the families of the victims of the terrorist bombing that targeted the Coptic Cathedral in Cairo. She prayed to Allah Almighty to grant the victims peace and for the injured a speedy recovery. She also emphasized the historic deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Egypt and the mutual uh, partnerships in all fields, especially in women affairs. During the meeting, Her Royal Highness discussed areas of joint cooperation in the framework of activating the Memorandum of Understanding between the Supreme Council for Women and its Egyptian counterpart. She asserted the importance of cooperation between all organizations concerned with women in Arab countries, as well as benefiting from the exchange of their expertise. Her Royal Highness continued to express her aspirations of joint Arab activities designed to correct the false image of Arab women in Western media, which does not reflect the reality of the situation in the region. She went on to state the need to clarify to the international community that regional countries have passed the stages of women empowerment and that Arab women are able to carry out tasks that would elevate their communities by employing their skills in the work field. Her Royal Highness thanked the Egyptian delegation for their visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain, noting the close collaboration with the National Council for Women for nearly 15 years. She also hailed the great progress made by Egyptian women along with with her Bahraini counterpart, which is a landmark in the March of Arab Women as a whole. On behalf of uh, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, attended the gala dinner hosted uh, by the British Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Simon Martin, to celebrate the 200th anniversary of the establishment of the diplomatic, uh, d d diplomatic Kingdom of Bahrain and United Kingdom relations. The event was attended by the Minister of uh, Middle East and North Africa at the Foreign and Commonwealth Office in the United Kingdom to B.S. Elwood, a number of Bahraini senior officials and businessmen and expatriates of the British community in Bahrain. The minister expressed his pride of the advanced level of uh, bicentenary bilateral relations which benefited both countries and their people. He pointed out that the co cooperation between the two countries contributed to the security and stability of the region and fueled momentum to continue development of the bilateral ties as a result of the awareness of the strategic importance of the relations between the two countries and their tireless efforts to further expand their cooperation at all levels. Elwood reiterated that the historical relations between the two kingdoms will see further progress due to the enormous potential opportunities, available capabilities and the shared desire to strengthen many of field cooperation. He highlighted the important outcome of the Bahrain-UK joint working group which reflect on the bilateral relations and coordinations towards various issues. He stated that the the GCC states are close allies to the United Kingdom, which is committed to work with its GCC partners to ensure protecting their security. The UK ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain expressed his sincere appreciation and pride of the keenness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to further deepen the bilateral ties to be an emulated model of strategic partnership as well as his due care of all functions that demonstrate the deep historical relations such as the recoptical visits by the leaders and government officials of the two countries. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Heba Abdel Ghafour. Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,190.52 points, marking a decrease of 1.42 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the investment services and industrial sector, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 56% of total shares value. 46 equity transactions took place with a volume of 2,005,338 shares, worth 426,434 Bahraini dinars.
Thomas Murray, one of the leading and well-known international data services firms, upgraded Bahrain's bourses rating from CSD rating A- and CSD flash impact stable to CSD rating A, A- and flash impact positive. This credit goes to the success of converting all of the listed companies from the paper certificates to electronic records and depositing them into the Boost Central's depository system. Sheikh Khalifa, CEO of Bahrain Boost, said the Boost will witness several stages of development in many areas of its operations in the near future through offering diversified and professional services to different sectors. And individuals were interested and involved in this vibrant and, vi and vital segment of Bahrain's economy. In jazz, Bahrain has won in all four categories awards for this year at the Young Entrepreneurs Competition 2016. The four awards were the Compliance Award, recognizing members who fulfill the organization's policies, procedures and reporting directives. The Quality Award, recognizing members who achieve required levels of volunteer engagement, program delivery in educational institutes in their market. The Collaboration Award, recognizing members who create joint resource generating initiatives that enhance program delivery. And finally, the Communication Award, which is granted to members in compliance with INJA's regional branding guidelines and to the awareness raised through publications and social media channels.